Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're going to review the Makita Air Compressor 5200. And I've had this air compressor for um, over 10 years. And one thing we're also going to do today is we're going to give it a little love and we're going to do a little maintenance on it. And um, I haven't been that good about maintenance on this. This particular machine we used um, when we were framing houses. And the reason I bought it is you can run two, two big nail guns at one time. And uh, that came in really handy. And yeah, it, anyway, I'm going to give it a thumbs up right away. But I'm also going to show you how to maintain it. And today we're going to change the oil, check the air filter, and um, just give it a, a good cleaning, um, which I haven't done in all these years. This thing has been abused really <laughs> pretty bad. Um, but it, it's just ran, and we've just run it. And um, you know, when you're working, you don't always have time to do the proper maintenance that you should. And um, I'm kind of big on taking care of things, but I, but I, I must admit, I neglected this for a long time. Um, anyway, let me show you how to, basically the only maintenance is change oil, check the air filter, and then also drain the tank. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Right off the bat, I get a plastic container. Right here, you can see the sight glass, and it's kind of hard to see, but um, you wanna be in the halfway, and it's usually, it usually takes 12 ounces, so it takes a 10 millimeter wrench, so I'm going to loosen up that. Just down a little bit more. It actually doesn't look too bad, but you can see there's some black stuff in there. Loosen the tap, the tap top cap, the oil filler. It actually doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of a little bit of black oil. I must have changed this previously. I do try to keep up on the maintenance. While that's draining, we'll go ahead and check this air filter. One thing about these air filters, the actual, um, the, you can get the filter out, but the, the, the canister doesn't, um, like you can take this filter out. You can get that filter out. So you can see this filter is not in bad shape, but I'm going to blow it out. But you can't, it's almost impossible to get this piece off for some reason. For some reason, this machine was making some noise, and I'm not sure why. And I thought maybe it was because of the oil, but it looks like. A, Oil's not in that bad of shape. I always like to drain the tank down too. You should drain the tank every time you, every day after you're done using it. Um, it'll make the tank last a lot longer. Once you get all the oil drained out, go ahead and replace your plug. This is a 10 millimeter. Clean up your mess.
You don't need to over tighten it. I'm going to use a small funnel. Now what we're using here today is air compressor oil. And this is special oil. This, I got this from Napa. And it's very important not to use regular motor oil. Use, use air compressor oil. It's a totally different viscosity. And I have made the mistake in the past of just using motor oil. And you're going to fill it up to the halfway point of the bubble in the site. So I'm watching the sight glass. And that's a little over, but not too much over the red dot in the sight glass. That's where you want to be. Put your cap back on. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I'd have to give the Makita 5200 a uh, big thumbs up. It's a, it's a 5.2 gallon, 6.5 CFM, 90 PSI. Uh, it's model 5200, Mac 5200. And it can run two big nail guns full blast. And um, since I kind of retired, I'm gonna bring it down here in my wood shop. And as you can see, I have a lot of nail guns and I do use nail guns a lot. So you don't really need one this big if you're just running a, you know, one nail gun at a time. But since I have it and it's available to me, I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually mount a, a hose reel so it'll be easy. And um, yeah, anyway, Makita 5200, thumbs up. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. And I will see you next time. Later.